Welcome to the Love Set. Turkey Day. Welcome back or to Lady Love Stud Reads. My name is Jessica. Welcome to the weekly vlog. It's Wednesday, October 11th. I took a week off vlogging because things were just like a little bit chaotic and I won't go into any detail about that, but it's life. It happens. Uh, today is my long day at work, so I'll be staying home currently on a lunch break and then I'll get a dinner break later. And during both of my breaks, um, I'm filming a check-in, so I filmed a wrap-up. <laughs> and then I'm going to film this check-in, and then I'm going to be reading. So let's chat about what I'm reading. Um, audiobook first. In the last vlog, you will have seen that I read the book Get Out of Your Head by Jenny Allen. If you watched it, if you didn't, that's cool too. That's what I read. And it was like a really faith-based approach to managing anxiety and managing anxiety by reprogramming our brain through um, more realistic healthy thinking and thought processes and there is another book that popped up in my recommendations that sounded similar to that called anxious for nothing finding calm in a chaotic world um, and it's by max lucado and I have read about 20% of this so far on audiobook. And so far, it's the same thing as Get Out of Your Head, only Jenny Allen did it better. I don't know who wrote what first, I don't really care, um, but Jenny Allen has done this topic better than Max Lucado so far. I'll finish it, it's a short book, so it won't take me long to finish it, you know, another day or two doing barn chores and I'll have it done. But so far I like the other book better. <laughs> uh, and this is kind of part of a journey. Oh, I, I don't like that word. It sounds so like woo woo. But I guess I should say it, it's a recovery process I'm going through. Recovering from pretty severe burnout. One of the things I'm doing is reading a lot of self-help books and seeing if I can take away some nuggets of wisdom or some new things to try. And so um, Get Out of Your Head was the first one that I read. And now I'm reading this Anxious for Nothing. I actually read last week one called um, How to Break Up with Your Phone, which was okay. Um, it I'm putting into practice some of the tips for it. Like I turned off all the, all the notifications on my phone and stuff like that. 
I mean, I'll, I'll link you to my Goodreads review of that one and I'll talk about it in another wrap up at some point. But yeah, so that was the second one I read. And so this will be book three. It's just what came available on my holds list at the library. So that's an audiobook. Very long winded kind of trail to talking about uh, the audiobook. I am reading an ebook called Rain Me In, and this is part of what I think is going to be a series called The Cowboys of Nighthawk. It's by Kayla Gross, and it is a cowboy romance basically, and I'm about 30% of the way through. I like it so far. It's there's some cheese. Like there's some really cheesy parts. Some really eye-rolly cheesy parts, but overall I'm having a good time. Um, the the uh, premise of this is Blake, she is moving back to her Texas hometown after her brother has like an accident. And she's a formal barrel racer. She won't ride horses anymore. We don't really know why, except that it has something to do with this accident. And then Gavin, he lives in that town. He's the love interest. He owns, um, or he doesn't own a bar, he owns a farm that's really struggling and works at a bar called the Nighthawk. And the bar has this fundraiser for his family because his father passed. So they did a fundraiser to help out with the family where like, it was very Gilmore Girls where like you had to ride a bull and whenever you fell off, whoever the bitter, the last bitter was when you fell off the mechanical bull, they get to take you on a date. And you had like a basket. Very Gilmore Girls, right? So Gavin tries to bid on Blake to go on a date and he loses. Yada, 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 yada. You know, typical romance. I don't know how I feel completely about it yet other than, you know, I'm having a good time. Right now it's reading at like a three. It's like at a three. Where it's kind of got like the Hallmark Gilmore Girl vibes. I really like the horse aspect of it. Like she, her parents are like really famous horse trainers. And so there's a lot of horsemanship going on. A lot of riding horses and talk of riding horses. And I really like that being an equestrian myself. Um, but the actual love story feels kind of meh. 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 Character development feels a little meh, but I'm going to keep going with it and we'll see how it turns out. The big book that I am continuing to read is A Game of Thrones by George R.R. R. Martin. It's book one in the Song of Ice and Fire series. Got some tabs going. I am like 20% of the way through this one. <laughs> so I got a good chunk of it read last week. I had to take a friend to the hospital, so... Um, while I was sitting there waiting, I just read this book. Um, yeah, last week was chaos. I like this book so far. It's very character driven. It's very much about like political movements and um, fights for power. And I like some of the, I guess you would call it like shadow government elements in this where you've got the king that's doing all of this, but you've also got all these people working for the king or living with the king that are influencing decisions and making power moves and things like that. It's kind of like a game of chess um, and very character driven, which I love character driven stories. I think so far my favorite characters are, I really like Ned Stark a lot. He's pretty great. I like how like how much integrity he has. I like Jon Snow. I think he's interesting. But I think my favorite character of all of them is probably Tyrion Lannister. Um, I also like Arya Stark. She's a little spitfire. I love a spitfire. But I think my favorite is Tyrion Lannister just because there's something about like the way his brain works that I really like and I'm really drawn to and I find myself like wanting to read more of his chapters because just some of the ideas he discusses are really interesting and the interactions he has with other people sometimes are surprising in the way that he will like or dislike someone and and um I just I really like him a lot. So that is what I'm reading. That's what's going on. It's a nice rainy fall day today. I absolutely love this weather. 
and I hope you're all doing excellent. Let me know down below how you are. How is your fall going? What is something um, fun that you're doing this fall to enjoy the season? And I'll check in at another point. It's Thursday and it's quite chilly out so I have the heat on. I've got ham and beans cooking in the crock pot and it's making my house smell so good. And then I've got laundry going and just like the cozy warm house smells and sounds right now is so nice. It's like my favorite thing ever. When your house smells like something good is cooking and you've got like the washing machine going and it's warm. It's just the best. Thursday night after class, I had my ham and bean soup, and it was so good. It was so good. I'm going to definitely make that again this winter, and I'll show you how I make it, because it was so good, and the crock pot just made the whole house smell amazing, and like, oh gosh, y'all, work is done for the day. Had my dinner, cleaned the kitchen. It's about 9 o'clock, and I am going to settle in with a book. I've run the fireplace for a little bit. I've got my critters. It's cold and rainy out. I've got Frasier on in the background because I'm prepping for the reboot. And like, life is good. Like, I feel like the luckiest son of a bitch in this moment right now. Just my books and my critters and my warm house and my full belly. And it's just... This is the life. This is this is it right here. Anyway, I'm going to read more Game of Thrones. If you follow me, you know I rotate between my big book and my regular size book. So Game of Thrones is my big book right now. The regular size book is um, the romance I'm reading. But I was so into Game of Thrones last night and I've been thinking about it today. And I'm going to read more of it because I'm just loving it. I'm just obsessed. So gonna dive right in and keep on reading. Reading Game of Thrones and one of my favorite characters is Ned Stark. But there's been some foreshadowing and I feel like something's going to happen to him because I really like him. And you know what they say about George R.R. R. Martin is that he kills off your favorite characters. Hi Pi Pi. So I feel like something tragic is going to happen to Ned. And Pi and I will continue reading and find out, I guess. Hi, baby. Okay, she has settled. Um, but as I was saying, I think yeah, I think something bad's gonna happen to Ned. And I really like Daenerys, but I don't know where. I mean, I have a suspicion that the the dragon eggs are going to have real dragons, but I guess we'll see about that too. Daenerys is interesting. I can't say she's one of my favorites just yet. Like, my favorite so far is Ned and probably Tyrion. So Ned is number one, Tyrion number two. Number three is probably Arya. Four is Jon Snow. And five would be Daenerys Targaryen. Who are your favorite Game of Thrones characters or points of view? Tell me down below. Come on, Dubs. Good boy. On my way to see the Taylor Swift Eras Tour movie with a friend of mine. 
happy Friday the 13th. And the friend that I'm going with is like the only person in my real life that knows I have a booktube channel. So maybe she will let me um, share some footage of us in this vlog. We'll see. I know that movie theaters won't allow you to like film any of it in the theater for copyright, but maybe I can get some of just her and I. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited. It's going to be fun. there time to wrap up this vlog sorry it's a little, little short but I figured better than nothing um so I finished anxious for nothing by Max Lucado and I gave it three stars in a previous vlog I had read get out of your head by Jenny Allen which covers a lot of the same things like even right down to the same scripture passages and things like that so this book was a lot of the same. Um, the one thing that I took away that was a little bit different from uh, the Ginny Allen book was there was some discussion about guilt and how guilt causes anxiety, like unresolved guilt. I thought that was pretty interesting. Aside from that, though, it's the same as the Ginny Allen book. I don't know who wrote what first. Like, I don't know if the Anxious for Nothing was published first or if Jenny Allen's book was published first. But I do feel like Jenny Allen did it better. Um, her uh, research was more science-based and her her advice was more actionable and practical rather than just like, God loves you, you know. If you're going to read one of these books, I would suggest Jenny Allen over um, the Max Lucado one. And then I also finished Rain Me In by Kayla Gross, and I gave it four out of five stars. I really liked this story. It deals a lot with grief. Like, grief is pretty heavy in there. So if that's a trigger for you, you probably should avoid this one. But I thought that the relationship was really refreshing because, yeah, they dealt with grief, but they weren't, like, over the top about it and their communication was actually really healthy and it was a book where there wasn't necessarily a third act conflict which was nice and I will definitely continue reading this series. I give it four stars just because there were some lines that were like a little bit cheesy and it pulled me out of the story like it made me laugh and pulled me out of the story so I think if Kayla Gross could kind of tighten up that bit about the writing. I would like it better, but that could be a me issue because, you know, I tend to prefer dark romance. So when it gets to be kind of small town and a little bit of cheese in there, I get very eye rolly and it just, I, it pulls me out. So if you're like someone who enjoys that, you might really like that about this book. So that's, it's just a preference that I have. So that was my reading week. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you just want to let me know that you're here, uh, what emoji should we use today? I think it should be Taylor Swift related. Mm. Do a snake because the reputation portion of the Eras movie was my favorite and it had that like snake on the platform. So give me a snake emoji if you just want to let me know you're here. And until next time, make sure that you continue to read good books, drink good coffee, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye!